Hi, I am Ufa Malgaga, and in this video, we are going to focus on showing you how to customize your outgoing emails, in particular, the body of the emails, whenever you are sending out statements in QuickBooks Online. Now, keep in mind, statements is pretty much a limited feature in QuickBooks Online. It is not like the pretty version of what you are accustomed to doing in a desktop where you're probably trying to use that feature to send out a lot of uh, during the end of the year donation statements or things of like that. Check out our blog. I have done a separate review of a third party app that you can leverage to have that same functionality in QuickBooks Online. What I'm about to show you, you can do this in QuickBooks Online Plus Edition. You can do this in QuickBooks Online Advanced Edition for your nonprofit organization. So whatever edition you're using, you should be able to achieve the same outcome that I'm about to show you, all right? So first things first, you are going to click on the plus new menu and you are going to select statements under the other column. When you hit statements, now first of all, you wanna make sure that you have something in the system under the respective customer that you are working on, whether that is the open invoice, paid invoice, sales receipts, etc. I already have all of those created offline and you're seeing that in my screen. So when you come to this screen, you have to select the type of statement that you want to send out. Do you want to send out a statement that just shows the balance forward? Do you want to send out a statement that just shows only the open items? Do you want to send out a statement that shows the entire transaction history of that particular customer, all right? So for my purpose and for the purpose of this demonstration, I am actually going to choose the transaction statement. So when I choose a transaction statement, you are going to decide what statement dates do you want to choose or put. Now for me, I am going to say, keep it at January the 1st, 2023. And then where it says customer balance status, I'm not going to make my own open and overdue. I'm just going to tell the system, show me everything that you got, right? And then here you can do your start and end, uh, end date. Now, obviously you can see that my end date is matching the same date as my statement. You can very much like move this forward in the future. I don't think I have anything in the future. So we're going to move that. You can move this backwards. You could go, you know, as far back as you want. You go all the way to January and just hit apply. All right. So as you see, when you change the date range, it's always going to show you whichever customer or how many customer have something open or have some kind of balance. Now at the bottom here, you're going to see where it has customers that you can actually send out a statement to, but they don't have an email address. So before you go through all of these methods, please make sure that your customer profiles all your project profiles have email address that you can send this out. If you don't want to be emailing it out, you can obviously print out this to PDF. All right. So I have one customer here of the Bill Gates Foundation. I use them as demo purposes. Uh, there's no email address. Then I have another. I have another one here that's obviously there's an email address. So I have two of the same thing. One has an email and the reason why you're seeing it display like that, because I have multiple sub customers underneath all of this. Um, so let's go into, let's, we're going to hit X out of here. Let's go into that customer profile, go to self center, hit customers, and you are going to come to your respective, uh, come to your respective sub customer or projects in the system. So here is my customer. And as you can see, I don't have any email address. So for right now, I'm just going to put my email address in the system. All right. I'm just going to copy that just in case I have another one to do. And we're just going to hit save and close. And just for the sake of demo purposes, I am going to also put my email here. All right. Okay. So we got at least two customers and two sub customers and projects and stuff that we can send our statements. So we're going to go back to the plus new menu. We're going to hit our statement again. 
and this time around you will see that our statement available is now showing two tabs it's showing us two options now again if you don't want to go back to the profile fix the email there you can obviously paste the email here if you're trying to send this to somebody else that is not the default person on that profile all right and again i'm intentionally choosing transaction statement i don't care about the rest if you care about the rest choose the option that makes sense for you and then i'm keeping my date as of today's date and i'm keeping my customer balance status as all and i'm keeping my date range as is all right so and then the one that has missing email address now obviously i don't know why it's still showing missing the email address because there's an email address right there again quickbooks statement has limitations cannot tell you that enough all right so we got email address on both places so all of this is good so to send this out, you can do one or two things. You can click print and preview and it will obviously show you a PDF. So if you do print and preview, it's going to show you a beautiful PDF like this. And you can see that it shows you all of everything that is open and it does it in this nice little beautiful format. All right. That's one way. If you want to actually email this out, you're going to hit the green save and send button. Um, and if you're not seeing save and send, you may want to click the little drop down arrow and switch it to save and send. So when you click save and send, this is where you get to customize the body of the email that your recipients are going to receive. So here you get to say a uh, statement from whatever, you know, whatever your company's name is going to show up default there. And then this is the, this is the templates, like this is the custom message that you have in here uh you can edit this i'm gonna leave this as is and then when you hit send it's gonna send out the email all right now a couple of you had several other questions about is there another place where you can customize that body of the email to say something pretty than what I just showed? So something that reinforces your organization branding, something that reinforces why people should be supporting your mission. Always brand those messages. They are marketing tools, all right? So is there a different place to maybe customize that? We're gonna hit X out of here, we're gonna go look. Uh, we're going to hit the gear icon at the top and we are going to go into our company settings. I am using a different file, so it may not have all the bells and whistle. So we are going to go under our sales form. When we go under our sales form, this is typically the only option of where you get that little bit of customization for statements. But let's see if there is under the messages right here. Let's see. Okay. So we do have statements. So when you go to the messages section, Let's rewind, click the get icon, click account and settings. I am using a different type of file on your end. It's going to be called account and settings, and you want to select the sales tab. And then under this, under the sales tab, you're going to scroll down to where it says messages. This is typically where you customize the invoice message, the sales receipts message, the estimate message, all of the places you customize your messages that go out. So what I want you to do is take whatever your beautiful message. So you see how I have, you know, my invoice pretty, you know, beautiful and nice. I'm going to copy that message and I'm going to switch to my statement. And when I switch to my statement, you see that here's my statement. I probably want to leave some of the default, but I want to add my organization uh, branding. So we're just going to take out some things. Again, make this pretty, make this reinforcing your mission. So always encourage your donors, your stakeholders to really remind them of why they gave to your organization in the first place. All right. So I'm going to say thank you for blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to say your, um, uh, you cannot pay by with statement. So it, it's, it doesn't make sense to keep that payment option available. QuickBooks as of right now does not put the pay now button on statements. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind. All right. So I'm going to, okay. So that's there. I'm going to say, Hey, your statement is attached. Uh, feel free to contact us about feel free to contact us for, um, to contact us for payment options or whatever message that you want to put there. 
thank you accounting department, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to take that part out. There we go. After you customize your message, do not forget to check the box that says, email me a copy. Why am I asking you to do this? Because you want to make sure that this email actually goes out to your recipient. And the only way that you can verify that something is actually going out is by CCing yourself on that email, all right? Or CCing with whoever the admin is on your QuickBooks online file. Okay, so we customize our message. We're going to hit save. And then we're going to hit the done button so that that officially saves in the system. Now, let's pretend to create another statement again so we can see how that stuff that I just did looks like, right? So you could create a statement from here while you're in that customer profile. You just click the under the new transaction green button. You click on the drop down option. You will see the statement right there. So when I try to create a statement, you will see that that is, um, <clears throat> That's grayed out. It says, uh, there's no statement for this customer, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's see, we're going to try to go back a few more years and we'll see if this works. Okay. So still giving me the little error message because there's nothing, nothing has been paid. So what I can do is I can change this to say, show me statements for open balances. Uh, let's see balance forward. Maybe it's showing. Oh, okay. So let's, let's me adjust the date. Does that work? Okay. Let's try a different customer. Okay. So we're going to hit X out of here. For some reason that one does not have anything on it. Let me just do a quick receive payment and see how that looks like. And we're just going to go, we paid and we check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we just went into our checking account and we are going to say save and close. Okay. All right. So we got all the things that we need and let's do that again. New transaction, hit statement. And, um, we're just going to go transaction view and it's still not doing it. This is one of those limitations of QuickBooks online statement feature, right? So. Let me switch back to a few dates. Let's go forward. Is that working? Yeah, that's not working. So let's try a different customer. All right. So let's go back to our Bill Gates foundation. So we're going to hit statement here. This one had a lot of things. All right. So we are going to keep everything as is again. I probably want to put my email. All right. And then we're going to hit save and send again. We just want to verify that the whole, yep. There goes all my beautiful customization that I did. Perfecto. So this is how you can customize the email at the accounts and settings level so that you don't have to remember to be typing this every single time. That's the first method that I showed you. Second method that I'm showing you is how do you customize it while you are in the screen before you hit the send button. So you have two ways of customizing that in QuickBooks online. And again, keep in mind QuickBooks online statements future has limitations. You can't do too much as you saw in all the testing that I was doing. You can't do too much. It's very much limited. So if in the event that you do want to maybe show your stakeholders, um, a different report that shows like all the transactions that they have ever, uh, occurred in your organization, you may want to just run some custom reports, customize those reports, and then send out those reports. That's typically what I recommend. All right. But you can send statements. You can click the plus new icon, hit statement. You can go straight into that customer profile, hit the new transaction green button, uh, drop down little arrow and then select statements. You can also do it if you select like batch transaction here. And, uh, if you want to like send like transactions and stuff like that. So you have different ways of sending out statements in QuickBooks online, but keep in mind they have limitations. All right. So hope this video was helpful to those of you that kept on asking in our uh, prior video about how do I customize the email? 
I'm not seeing the customize button. I'm not seeing this. I've shown you two different methods to be able to achieve that result. All right. Leave a comment. Let us know your feedback. Like and share these videos with your colleagues. All right.